first tonight, a special investigation. How foreign pilots are putting lives at risk because they can't speak English properly. The increasing number of overseas students learning to fly in Australia is turning communication into confusion. And as Jonathan Creek reports, it's making our skies unsafe. It could be the skies over India or anywhere in Asia, but as our air traffic controllers know only too well, it's not. A Today Tonight investigation has revealed our skies are now dominated by foreign pilots, many of them students in light aircraft. Their English so bad, they're barely understandable. Finally identified, the pilot lands without incident. But even on the ground, the trouble continues. He may have heard, but he didn't understand. Minutes later, the runway remains unusable. The controller frustrated. Lured by the good weather, much of the flight training conducted here is for overseas airlines. Vietnam Air, Cathay Pacific, Singapore Airlines and China Southern, just some of the companies who use our skies as a training ground. The market is big business for local flight schools, but it has led to growing confusion high above. In the air, communication is vital. Any misunderstanding could be the difference between life and death for hundreds. Had a language barrier caused the crash? In 1996, 349 people were killed when a 747 collided with a cargo jet near New Delhi, India. A communication failure blamed. The crew in the Soviet uh, states, uh, they pass English examination, but uh, they're not fluent in spoken English. While the language barrier is yet to cause a major incident here, Many quietly believe it's only a matter of time. An industry insider told us foreign pilots are taught English when they get here, but they don't always understand it. He describes the situation as bloody dangerous, but no one from the industry will speak out for fear of being hounded to death for discrimination. If a catastrophe did occur, would their lips remain so tightly sealed? A spokesman for Air Services Australia, the organisation responsible for the nation's air traffic controllers, says there is no research, information or data to suggest foreign pilots pose significant operational issues. This despite the obvious struggle their own staff have understanding the simplest information. Uh, receive the kilo request the uh, airway clearance. Test the call sign again. Whiskey Mike Juliet. Whiskey Mike Juliet. It'd be very easy to say, oh, we have a lot of trouble with uh, foreign language based, shall we say, uh, students, but the statistics don't indicate that. A former Cathay Pacific captain, John McCormick, is now chief executive of the Civil Aviation Safety Authority. I've flown to many places in the world 
where English is not the base language, shall we say. And uh, in each of these places, you'll find that you have as much difficulty here as you have anywhere else in the world. New English language tests were introduced by CASA in January. Applicants for a student pilot's licence are now assessed by the chief flying instructor of each school and must demonstrate at least the minimum proficiency to communicate orally in the English language. We lead the world in our aviation language standard requirements. Hang on for x-ray, no delay through the intersection, thanks. Go to place, spray. Come on. After hearing this exchange, a local pilot says what many are thinking. I'm heading visual, what's up? Take on, thanks. Must be frustrating. 